In this demonstration, I'll be going through the new simulation options we have within Power Mill. So if we simulate our toolpath from the star, as you can see where the play icon is, which will play to the end, which is our usual and old style of simulation, we now have a new option called play to end of current item. Now this will change and you'll see the toolpath move suddenly. Now that was one tenth of the toolpath. So these four options we have in the drop down menu are either like what just happened was one tenth of the move, a point to point system, a component which would be one segment of the toolpath or an NC item if you've got multiple toolpaths within one NC program. So one tenth is one tenth of the move. The point is moving from one point to another. So if I show you now and display the points, you'll see we have plenty of points. So as soon as I click this button to simulate this, it will go to the next point and show each individual step one by one. The other option is the component. And what this will do now is go to the other side of the toolpath segment showing one line at a time and then stop. So you can do this every single time you want to go to the next segment of the toolpath. And we have one last item known as the NC item. So now if we activate our NC program, simulate this from the start, what this is going to do is machine all four of these pockets. They are each individual toolpath is for each individual pocket. So now if I show you machine move to the next NC item, what this will do is machine one pocket and as this goes down, once it stops and comes up in the Z height, it will stop the simulation so you can make sure that each individual move will be safe. And now it will move on to the next one and then move again. It also stops at the end of any NC code moves which aren't part of the toolpath but are linking the toolpath together. So anything within the NC program itself and that is the new simulation options we have in Power Mill.